Hey everyone, it's Alexander the Real Mr. Robinson. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the final week of these Godzilla watch alongs. Good lord, I can't believe we're already at the end. Uh, but yeah, uh, today's Godzilla the Planet Eater, the final film in the Godzilla anime trilogy. And in my opinion, let's see if th anything changes with this viewing. Let me just adjust the camera there. Uh, this is the worst Godzilla movie ever made. Again, that's just totally in my opinion. Uh. piece of shit okay i'm hoping you guys can hear me now can you hear me now guys can you hear me now just need to do a test right there okay i got so many people saying they still can't hear me i swear the audio's coming out huh okay now you guys can hear me good huh um toho hijacked the stream because they want to protect this movie i think they don't give a, i don't think they give a rat's ass about this movie at all um anyway um man i had that good intro ready to go uh but anyway yeah this movie as i was saying or which you guys couldn't hear if this movie had actually come out in 2019 or if i'd actually seen this movie when it was supposed to come let me start that again if i'd seen this movie the year it actually came out in japan it would have made my worst of list over city on the edge of battle and if this movie had been officially declared as a 2019 release i would have put it on my worst of 2019 list because i know a lot i know a lot of other critics and my peers would put king of the monsters on the worst of list and for me it's just like I wish y'all could have seen Planet Eater because you don't know terrible Godzilla movies until you see this thing right here. So uh, we're just going to watch the movie. I'm actually going to be watching the movie through my own monitor on Netflix, hoping that it doesn't drain my uh, battery, my computer battery in between doing this stream and watching the movie. So uh, fingers crossed. But uh, it's a good thing that I'm doing this uh, with you guys because um, I... And this weekend's, not, I mean, this whole year has been shitty already, but uh, this weekend, this past weekend has not been so good in itself, um, because Black Panther is no longer with us. Uh, yeah, it's so, 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 so sad about Chadwick Boseman's passing. And, uh, I mean, the fact that he, he had colon cancer, stage three, and then it developed to stage four, but he had it while he was filming... Black Panther and two Avengers movies that that makes him a stronger man than I could ever be and it's just it's shocking that he's no longer with us I mean I at this point I'm at the stage of acceptance but it really is not fair like it's not fair that this year has been just all kinds of terrible uh so yeah that sucks uh and uh I'm to be honest, I'm glad I'm doing this right now because I'm a little bit under stress because I'm going to get tested tomorrow. And, um, I'm just nervous. I feel like I'm going to be fine. I feel like I don't have, uh, the virus, but, um, uh, I'm just, again, it's one of those things where you're just too, you don't know. You just don't know. And I'm... I'm just terrified of what the results are going to be, but we're not talking about the bad stuff. Uh, Razorbike says, Razorbike says, um, I know, 
and I know personally people with colon cancer, so his death hits me. Uh, that sucks. Uh, yeah, cancer just sucks all around. Uh, and uh, yeah, Wakanda forever, as everyone's saying. But yeah, let's just move on to Godzilla. Um, if, for those of you who are watching this live, welcome. We got all the regulars here. For those of you watching this in post, I hope you could join us for... Uh, the next live watch along, uh, Godzilla King of the Monsters is the last one in this series. So hopefully, since that's more of a mainstream Godzilla movie, y'all join us. If not, then we've got the Marvel Cinematic Universe coming up in the near future. Uh, but the way things are going right now... Um, it's The MCU watch along is probably going to start... Mid-November at the earliest. Uh, I do plan to do it um, before the end of this year. It's just there's a lot of stuff that's popped up recently. And I want to spend more time on that than uh, these MCU watch-alongs. But yeah, I hope you guys who are watching this in post can join us for the MCU watch-alongs. If you lo really like what I'm doing with the channel, you want to help support financially, you can go to patreon.com slash therealmrrobinson. Link is in the chat. For $1 a month, you get to support the channel. And once I hit 25 patrons, I will start doing exclusive watch-alongs for those who pledge $1 a month or more. But if you can't support financially, then that's fine. Uh, your subscriptions on YouTube is more than welcome and doing that at the very least that is well appreciated uh, You know that said I think everyone is ready to go Let's just get this out of the way. I'm pushing the play button for Godzilla the planet eater on Netflix right now Okay, it's in English so Again, these dubs have helped me uh, understand the films a little more, but um, even then, it's still not, they're still not good. So, with this being the most confusing film of the three, maybe there's something I'm missing. civilizations why is he enunciating so much Oh, sorry you couldn't stick around, Turner Jenkins. Uh, but yeah, take care. See you around. I forgot how pretentious this movie in particular is. And it's just so in your face and non-subtle about this religious aspect. Like, again, the other two movies, they do hint slightly at a religious uh, undertone. Um... And this, it's like, there's no undertone. Like, this is in your face. What makes this guy so special? He's just some random, angry, generic anime character. Like, there's nothing about this trilogy that even indicates that he's... I, I don't know.
trippy. So this movie suddenly turned into Doctor Strange. Yeah, these are one of the these are honestly one of the lesser title cards in the Godzilla series. I don't feel like they're any cooler than the movies that have come before it, especially in the in the Heisei Millennium series. Why does this Godzilla and the the uh, Shin Godzilla, the Shin Godzilla, why do these two Godzillas sleep while standing up like they're just, um, like they're machines? Like I don't get it. Especially this one, since God, this Godzilla is more, has more of a personality than Shin Godzilla. The dialogue in this series is just so terrible. That's an interesting, like, dilemma in terms of these two races, which goes nowhere. So she's just a vegetable. Well, 
Wait, 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 wait a minute. She'll never wake up. How? She'll never wake up. Her heart's still beating. But her brain's not functioning? Like, what? I don't think that's how science works. You gotta tell that... Tell that to the other humans throughout 30 plus movies who managed to defeat Godzilla without sacrificing their humanity. Screw off. Yeah, the thing is, um, all monsters attack. It, it's an it, it's it's a very innocent movie. Like it's obviously geared towards kids, and it tries to to be a good message to kids in the sense that, um, like, just basically stand up for yourself, but. They just kind of butcher that, they butcher that message by the end. And also, that message is never in your face when it comes to delivering it. The religious aspect here, because they talk about it so endlessly, it's so in your face. Like, it, it, this honestly gives me a clearer understanding of why there are people out there that don't like Inception. Just because it's literally nothing but exposition. But ex but Inception is at the very least exciting. It's a ma it's more imaginative, and um, yeah, the exposition can get a little on the nose. But it is there to help us understand like the move the movie's concept of dreams and how the subconscious works. So th the exposition is kind of serviceable in. Inception. I don't blame that movie at all, but this movie here, like it's like it's like tr a trilogy of movies. The first time around, okay, the exposition's fine, but uh, the second and third time around, it's like y'all gotta stop with this. Like you gotta stop explaining.
And again, like, here we go with the, um, the in your face, um, like religious people who don't believe in science. Now I'm just like, I, whatever. <laughs> there was that one guy that was like, ooh. Tevya Smolka says, question, why can't Yuko be cured from the nanometal? That's a very good question. I can't answer that, so I'm going to completely bypass that question. Noble. That's, that's, that's funny. <laughs> that's, that's funny because, uh, I would not, uh, I would not say Haduro is noble in any, in any sense. No, they, uh, Godzilla destroyed Mechagodzilla City. So that means without, uh, any nano metal in that city, uh, no Mechagodzilla. So, Mechagodzilla in a physical form never shows up in this series. Dude.
So this is basically a mutiny. Meanwhile, with the vegetable. I feel like this is a, um, I feel like this is just a big, um, gear up towards, I mean, there's, there's Ghidorah's Roars. What was I going to say? Does the Meg count as a kaiju movie? I don't know, actually. I, I, I'd say no. I'd say no, just because it's not a made-up monster. It's a once-living shark. So I, I would say no.
she 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 her she's her mind's a million miles somewhere else. Like she doesn't give a rat's ass of what he's saying. She's just like, all right, look, you pansy. I learned to live with Godzilla. Uh, you should do the same. This got really, this got really kinky. I know I don't have to, but I want to. So she got naked for nothing. She thought she was going to get something. She thought she was going to get uh, sympathy sex or something. And it's like, no. Though good on good on him for not uh, for not being. Um, well, I was going to say not being shallow, but this character is unbelievably shallow. But good for him for not. Uh, like learning to say no. Y'all knew these, they couldn't be trusted. Y'all knew this was not, um... You know, their telepathy, um, their telekinetic conversation is so loud that it's, that's just drawing attention.
So we're really doing this again. Wow, that's kind of like... This is kind of risk. I mean, I would say it's risky because there's no actual nudity, but um, there's definitely a lot of skin to be shown in a movie that is probably at best PG-13. So now he did it with a half uh, human, half bug. So we are 30 minutes into this movie and uh, no monster action has happened at all. Razorbike says, it's PG-13 kinky, YouTube. Please don't block this. Uh, there's not, I'm not showing the movie, so I think I'm fine. I'm not showing the movie, and there's no audio playing that they can claim. So I think I'm good. Run, girl. I feel like this is a giant... See, it's in, it's in shadow, but... That's honestly a cool design of Ghidorah. But do we get this Ghidorah? Spoiler alert, no, we don't. Uh, What are you talking about? That's more the appropriate question. Wait, is that head st is the head still alive? God damn dream sequences. Mm -hmm. 
I can't tell if the sweat is from, uh, from, I can't tell if that's nightmare sweat or they just got done with an intense lovemaking session. Why do I get the feeling that this movie is just a giant screw you to religion? Like, yes, join religion. Nothing bad will happen. There are no false prophets here. Yeah, this movie, like... This movie is seriously the faith-based Godzilla movie. And it's like, bro, I just want to see, I want to see some monster action. I didn't come to this movie to go to church. Again, tell that to all the other human beings in the other movies that have managed to defeat Godzilla. Come forth, Ghidorah! Come forth, Ghidorah! Wait, Golden Wings of Demise? This honestly, um, like it's a creepy, I'll, I'll admit that this moment's kind of creepy. Huh. Yeah, you you fucked up. Run. Run, buddy. St quit, quit standing there. Just run. You know... There's something you could do. Yeah, I this this is a situation where if you took this sequence and you took the kitchen sequence from a uh, sausage party and you were asked to say what the difference is between these two scenes, you would say there is no difference. <laughs> There's literally no difference between this and the kitchen seat uh, in uh, in Sausage Party. Like, both movies are... are like a massive... Both scenes are a massive screw you to religion. Except this movie is more in your face about it.
You know, it looks like a Doctor Strange porn, Ola. They keep using that same footage of that one uh, crew member at the computer. Look out the window, dummies. This is so ridiculous because, like, <laughs> it's like, look out the window. Nobody ever shuts up in this movie. Like, it's just constant talk after talk after talk after talk. It's like, we don't need to hear every little detail about what's happening. Oh, that poor bastard. <laughs> Dude is high. Yeah, remember that really uh, cool-looking design for Ghidorah that came in the form of a toy? Yeah, we don't get that in this movie. That's a pretty big explosion for a ship. Yeah, I, I'm watching the dub version, uh, which, which honestly, since nothing was edited or changed, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, we'll say, um, it does take, like, Godzilla does do something quicker in this movie than the other ones, but that's not really saying a whole lot.
this really could have, like, the way this is staged, uh, this could have been a really cool fight between Godzilla and Ghidorah, but, again, it's just, it's nothing. Uh. And this is a cool build-up, I gotta say. And his spines managed to grow back quickly. Yeah, his spines are perfectly fine now. I remember them being blown to smithereens in the last movie. Okay, it's like enough build up. Let's get to the monster action. It truly it to be honest, this it baffles my mind that uh people consider this to be the best film in the anime trilogy. I'm like yeah, I've I've given up at this point. Like I And it's plus like the other two movies were bad already, but you already, you like screwed up what could have been like a salvageable third entry. The writing, some people say that this Ghidorah is a better representation than the one King of the Monsters. No. You know, there's a, um, at Universal Studios Japan in Osaka, there's a um, an Evangelion Shin Godzilla show. Like, it's a 3D show, sort of like uh, Terminator 2 3D or Shrek 4D, I guess. Um, where there's a basically a Shin Ghidorah, and that's kind of. What Godzilla? What happened with Godzilla's atomic breath, where he hit Ghidorah, and the beam like deflected? That's kind of what they do in that 3D show. And uh, the look for that Shin Ghidorah is pretty cool. Uh, much better than this like space noodle. And it's like, with this, you'd never, you would never guess in a million years that that was Ghidorah.
I get. Yeah, it's yeah, it's just the whole sequence, uh, this buildup of Godzilla and Ghidorah's battle in this film, uh, comes down to three space noodles. That, yeah, three space noodles that Godzilla can't touch. That just bite him throughout the entire battle as Godzilla's struggling. That's all we get. And again, like, what's frustrating is that this is an anime. With animation, you have endless possibilities on what to do with these monster battles. You could do things that was never possible with Suitmation. But, no, we have this. Like, it's, it's bullshit. Yeah. Yeah, this is some straight up cult nonsense here. I wait. One of us, one of us, one of us. Yeah, we got that the first time. Huh? If these monsters are going to do anything exciting, then stop showing us that Godzilla can't harm this thing. Again, this could have had such potential. And we are about 55 minutes in this movie. And now it's going full interstellar.
<laughs> You're telling me. Huh? I, I don't accept this nonsense either. Yeah, you know, rewatching this anime trilogy, um, I take back what I say about Final Wars at times feeling embarrassed to be a Godzilla movie. Uh, this movie feels more embarrassed to be a Godzilla movie than Final Wars did. Okay, we'll never get an answer to that. Uh, <clears throat> okay, there's the answer, I guess. Yeah, that's creepy. Yeah, this is so boring, so pretentious. Yeah, Justin Toner says Final Wars has fun moments and good monster action in it, at least. Yeah, and even if the monster action's not happening, there's some cool human stuff going on, even if it has no place in a Godzilla movie. Yeah, uh, Ghidorah's still biting Godzilla. That hasn't changed. Still draining the life out of him. Yeah, it's like, like, oh my god, this is like repeat, it's like, shots of Godzilla and Ghidorah doing nothing, cut to interstellar knockoff, uh, and flashbacks, uh, rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat, I'm like, talk about, the padding in this is worse than in It Chapter 2, or at least the rinse and repeat aspect of it, uh. Oh, yeah, she's in this movie.
And we're back to this boring nonsense. It's like, oh my god, can we get something cool? Maybe the monsters are lifting him up. I, I'm sorry if I'm just so silent right now, but sometimes there are movies that just are so boring and so dull that you have nothing to say. Like, I, I seriously have nothing to contribute with this uh, watch-along. Okay, I gotta be honest, the first time I saw this movie, I thought they were in the cockpit of the Millennium Falcon with a disco ball up there and like, oh no, this is a World War II bomber. Which I'm sure the Millennium Falcon cockpit was inspired by a World War II bomber. Okay. There's only so many shots <laughs> that we can take of Godzilla struggling with Ghidorah. Razor Bike says, I would love if this whole series just ended to reveal it was all a dream. That would be the biggest, like, like, as if this series wasn't dumb enough, that would be the biggest screw you that anyone could ever have. Like, that would be a giant middle finger. Oh yeah, she's... Hello, there's a pointless Mothra cameo. And that's... And that's all we see of Mothra. Yeah, this this series wasted both Mechagodzilla... No, not both, because that would imply the two. This series wasted Mechagodzilla, King Ghidorah, and Mothra. Four, two, three out of the five most popular monsters Toho's created.
like it's like seriously let's again if they had that design of Ghidorah where it was the body the wings and the tails that would have been cool but no no we don't get that Okay, I gotta be honest right now. Oh, Spider's Prime says they also screwed Rodan too. Yeah. But, yeah. They screwed over a lot of monsters in this movie. Oh, I gotta be honest. I I don't want to pause the stream right now. Especially the movie. Uh, because I seriously gotta go to the bathroom. So, I'm just... This is one of the movies where it's like... I've never quite... I've never, like debated on whether or not to leave a movie a Godzilla movie to go to the restroom but I have to so sorry folks I will be right back uh, All right, so what did I miss? Not a damn thing, no surprise. Okay, in all seriousness though, uh, this movie's been blocked from my mind, so. I guess he's trying to think back to all the positive moments in his life. I seriously don't understand this movie. Now something different is happening with this fight. <laughs> it's like Godzilla was gonna like slap. Yeah. 
Yeah, and now the time Godzilla actually is able to physically hurt Ghidorah, we just get a bunch of horrible close-ups. Uh, and far-off shots that we can't even make out. Huh? Memphis was controlling Ghidorah the whole time. Huh? It was with that glass eye huh, that he had. And now that the glass eye shattered, uh, Ghidorah's mortal, I guess. This is so... Such a disappointing fight. Music's nice, though. Yeah, the second God's, uh, Ghidorah became uh, mortal to Godzilla's attacks, uh, he's taken out like that. <laughs> Like, man, this... Always look on the bright side of life. <laughs> oh, you're still alive. Let the hate flow through you. Yeah, I don't get this dynamic. Like, why is he upset over Memphis' death? But who cares? This movie's almost over. Got 15 minutes left.
Man, a poor, like, we just get some pathetic uh, still image montage of what happens later on. Like, man, it also kind of emphasizes how cheap this movie is. And, <clears throat> and really makes you question how this got released in theaters. Like, this really should have been... I mean, for us in America, it was straight to Netflix, but this really should have been straight to... This should have been TV. So does Haruro sleep with both of them now? Oh, just one of them. Okay. Okay, this ending flat out confuses me. God, just, can we get this on? Can we get this over with, please? Wow, that is a that was an incredibly unconvincing pregnant belly. Like wow. I know this is animated, but it really looks like uh somebody just put a watermelon there and painted it uh the skin color as the half human half bug people. What are you doing with that object?
That... What battle? Y'all, y'all seem to have accepted the fact that you're gonna have to coexist with Godzilla. I see, see that line, you don't have to understand ever. I feel like that's more of a, like, a dialogue aimed to the audience. Like, yeah, you don't have to understand this. I'm like, no, we, we need to. We need to understand why you're doing this. And once again, Godzilla just sleeps while standing. Not sure why. Yeah, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get this ending. Yeah, that, that was just as bad as I remember it. Uh, yeah, easily the, um, easily the anime trilogy is among not just the worst Godzilla movies ever made, but one of the worst films of the last decade. Huh? Like it, it's had such a great premise, such a noble creative concept and they just blew it. Huh? Like, they just screwed it all up. Razorbike says, because Haruo is alive, there is always a chance Ghidorah could come back because Haruo still hated Godzilla. Okay. Uh, Johnny Gallagher says, this trilogy rips off Kong Skull Island. I don't... I don't think so. I, I don't get the impression that this trilogy ripped off K Kong Skull Island because there's the thing where, like, anime animation makes... Um, I see how you'd say that, but animation takes longer... is a much longer process than um, live-action films. So I think it was just a coincidence that they carry some of the same, like, ideas. But... But yeah, the plot to this, it like it was reverse and it was reverse Planet Hulk with Godzilla. It could have been so cool, but they just blew it. They totally shit the bed with this movie. So yeah, uh yeah, that's Godzilla the Planet Eater. Uh, like always there is a post credits scene. I'm going to take off the headphones until we get there. Um there is a post credit scene to this movie, um, which we'll stay around for. So I'll just give the rundown right now while we wait for it. Thank you guys for joining in. Uh, if you're watching this in post-production, uh, sorry you had to suffer through this movie unless you liked it, which in that case, cool. You got something out of it more than I could ever. 
Uh, but if you, I encourage you to join the next watch, live watch along when you can. Uh, this Thursday is Godzilla King of the Monsters, the final watch along Godzilla movie. That was not proper English, but the final movie that I'm doing in this watch along series of Godzilla watch along videos. <laughs> uh, and then uh, in mid November at the earliest, I will start up my live watch along for the Marvel Cinematic Universe. If y'all really like what I'm doing with the channel, you want to help support financially, as always, you can go to patreon.com slash the real Mr. Robinson. Link is in the chat uh for one dollar a month you can help support the channel financially uh, but once i hit 25 patrons i will start doing exclusive live watch alongs for those who pledge at least one dollar a month if you pledge any other higher tiers you get more rewards that i'll start working towards and uh there are a lot of goals uh as well huh? in addition to the 25 patrons if i hit 150 patrons i will uh, do a review for Transformers The Last Night huh? and uh, exclusive uh, live watch along for that movie for you guys for those who pledge uh, to Patreon huh? and uh, yeah that's that's pretty much it if you cannot support the channel financially then that's totally fine just subscribing to YouTube and sharing the channel with your friends is all that matters huh? So, um, any type of support is always appreciated. It looks like we're coming up to the post credit scene, which probably, I forget what this is, but it's probably nothing. Okay, I didn't quite get that either. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's Godzilla the Planet Eater. Planet Eater. Planet Eater. Thursday. <clears throat> Unless something happens um, that causes a change in schedule, it will be my watch along for a slightly better Godzilla movie. And by slightly, I mean a largely better Godzilla movie. Uh, 2019's Godzilla King of the Monsters. So... Until then, this is the real Mr. Robinson telling you there's only one.